Is the Mavic Air worth it? video we are going to be talking about whether the Mavic Pro is worth it or if you should go for the Spark or another drone so it's not going to be a side-by-side -side comparison we may be doing one of them later if you do enjoy this video we're just going to be giving you the specs the review some test footage portability wise if it's worth it let's get into it so firstly I'm going to be starting off by talking about the specs and comparing it to a camera my 650D so, when I say comparing, I'm going to tell you what that is. The Mavic Air has a 12 megapixel sensor. It's pretty poor, but for a flying drone, good. How For the price, it is worth it. If you're trying to do more professional cinematography, photos in particular, you probably want to go for an Inspire or look at another drone, because this isn't the greatest at taking photos. You're, it's probably the equivalent of your an iPhone 6. iPhone 7 would be better, or an iPhone 10. And it has a 30, it's a fixed 35 millimeter lens. Not more much I can say about that. It's just 35 millimeters, it's set. You can't zoom in, you can't zoom out. And the autofocus is really good on it. Barely ever goes out of focus, but obviously it will go out of focus sometimes. And it's great in low light. It has a, a f-stop of 2.8, so really, really good. Most, um, most, uh, I, don't, I think all the DJI drones have an f2.8, so yeah, really good if you're taking some night photography, night drone footage, especially if you're in somewhere like New York, uh, Dubai. I'm, you can't actually fly in New York anymore, but before it was great. You saw lots of people like Matt Como taking some great cinematography um, in New York. So anyway, moving on, it shoots 4K, 30 FPS, which is good. I would have hoped they would have done 60 FPS for this one since all the others have been 30 FPS. But no, they're sticking with 30 FPS. If you don't know what that means, frames per second. And if you don't know what that means, there's plenty of YouTube videos explaining that. So I'd definitely watch them afterwards and then maybe come back to this or whatever. It shoots 1080p 60 frames per second, which I think is definitely better. If you want to go for that smooth, really smooth slow motion, perfect. And it actually does have its own dedicated slow motion um, settings, but I wouldn't use that because it's 720p and you don't want to downgrade too much. Either use the, uh, either use the 1080p or the 4K. And, uh, but that's just my opinion. And next we are talking about how portable it is. And the Mavic Air is extremely portable. It's uh, So basically the Mavic Pro is here, the Spark is here and the Mavic Air is bang in the middle. Um, it's not as small as a Spark, and it's not as big as a, Ma uh, a Mavic Pro, even though the Mavic Pro is really portable as well. So basically, whatever's in the middle of that is gonna be really portable, and it is, it's perfect. If You can shove it in your bag. Um, you don't need to, it's not like a Phantom 4 or an Inspire. It's really, really easy to carry around, and. And for, for the size of it, it's perfect. But if you obviously want to do some more professional, uh, if you're, yeah, maybe that's not the right drone, but if it's just for messing about making YouTube videos, it's perfect. And I think um, that's the conclusion for the video. I'm not sure if I put the video at the end or the start, but we'll see, or in the middle. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the drone footage as well. Footage as well. And thanks for watching, I'll speak to you Next video, bye. How to find the right song for your travel videos. Okay guys, welcome to another video. Uh, you know what we're talking about from what I said before and the title. It's going to be a great video, how to get amazing songs for your travel videos. Uh, by the end of this video, you should know exactly where to look for your next video. So let's get straight into it.